Good afternoon, good morning, whenever you're watching this, good whatever Jets Nation, I'm your host Jude Jets and today we are going to be talking about Nate Herbig and why he's one of the more underrated players on the Jets roster. So without any hesitation, let's get it started. So for those who do not know who Nate Herbig is, he signed with the Philadelphia Eagles in 2019 as an undrafted free agent, stayed with them for three seasons, never really became a true starter, got his starts here and there, but was overall just a backup with the Eagles, but was a good backup when he was on the field. For some reason, they released Herbig. Well, actually, they were trying to trade him, couldn't find any trade offers they liked, so they just released him. Don't know why they were trying to get rid of Nate Herbig that bad. But he ended up falling into the Jets' lap, and I'm glad that happened because Nate Herbig is a really good backup. Taking a look at some of his PFF grades since 2020, he has a 71.2 overall grade, a 70.3 pass blocking grade, and a 69.7 run blocking grade and he also has a career pff grade of 77.5 when playing the right guard position which is seventh highest among all right guards since 2020. so yeah nate herbig is a really good backup player and i'm super glad the new york jets were able to pick him up off of waivers because this just adds a whole new depth to our team. You know, most good teams in the NFL you see have good backups. The New York Jets have not had good backups for a very long time, but this offseason we decided to change that. I mean, nobody's really talking about our additions we made to our depth. Of course, you know, we drafted Garrett Wilson. We got Zach Wilson as number one guy. We got our two tight ends. We got a Pro Bowl guard. But we also got one of the best backup guards in the game. One of the best backup edge rushers in the game in Jacob Martin. So we just added a ton to our depth this offseason. Not a whole lot of people are talking about it, but I decided to change that. And when Nate Herbig eventually comes on the field for the New York Jets, unless Elijah Vera Tucker and Lankin Tomlinson play every single snap this season, we're going to be really impressed. Some people are probably going to be like, oh no, Lincoln Thomason's off the field. I'm not going to work because I have a ton of faith in Nate Herbig. He's not going to play at the same level, but he's going to keep this offense afloat. And chances are, he's going to keep Zach Wilson off of the ground. So that's all I got to say on Nate Herbig. Do you guys like him? Do you guys hate him? Comment it down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe and like button because I got a ton of more videos like this coming on the way and I already got some videos like this out right now on my channel. You could watch them for absolutely free. They're super entertaining and there's absolutely zero bias with me saying that if you want to support me even more you could check me out on instagram twitter and tiktok at jude underscore jets you can also check me out on let's talk sports doing some shows with them writing some articles with them and i'm going to be their tiktok host very soon so if you guys are interested in checking me out on let's talk sports or if you just want to check out let's talk sports in general their facebook pages are linked down below and i'm your host jude signing off for now see you guys later peace